Hey everyone, I'm here to do a new review for you guys. It is on Going Bovine by Libra Bray. And I just finished reading this last night and it was <sighs> crazy. It was insane. It was a trip unlike any other. So let's get started. Let's talk about the book and how crazy and random and awesome this book is. This book is about a boy named Cameron. He is apathetic, disinterested, he could care less about what is going on around him. Last thing he remembers of being happy was when he was five in Disney World. And after that, things just started going downhill, sucking to the 10th degree. Things really start to suck when he finds out that he's contracted mad cow disease and there's no cure and he's going to die until his guardian angel Dulcie, a punk rock angel rocker girl, comes to Cameron and tells him that if he can find Dr. X he will uh, give him the cure and all the while close up a wormhole that's about to destroy the earth. If he could do all of that, if he could save the world, find Dr. X, he'll be granted the ability to live. We join Cameron on his crazy adventures with his sidekick Gonzo and through a series of events and circumstances they find a balder, a lawn gnome slash Norse god and they go on adventures. There's philosophical moments learning about life, living, death, what it means to live, the, the finer things in life and uh, why we're right here, fate. Um, and all of that crazy stuff. It was one hell of a trip, I'll tell you that. In more ways than one, if you know what I'm saying. I'm kidding, don't do drugs. Anyways, so let's talk about the characters because the characters in here are crazy awesome. They're very interesting. We have Cameron, the, the lowly teenager. He's very apathetic, like I said. He's kind of low on the totem pole of high school status. You know, you kind of don't feel sorry for him in the beginning of the book. I actually really, really disliked him in the beginning. I wanted to kick him in the face. I would just hurt him. He's not your typical hero. In the beginning of the book, he's not there to save the world, but he's thrown into this event where he has to. And I see where Miss Bray was going, where you really hate him in the beginning, but as the book progresses, he starts to grow on you and you find out he's actually a decent good kid. The development he goes through um, was great. So Cameron, Gonzo, his sidekick, he is a dwarf. He's very neurotic and high strung. He walks on the safe side and that's kind of an understatement. Balder, he is amazing. He really picks up the book. Balder is great. Very good. Let's talk about the writing. The writing of this book is amazing. I tell you this book is long. It's a very long book. It's almost 500 pages and it's kind of a semi-slow read and I say that because there's a lot of foreshadowing in this book and I kind of had to read it slower just to pick up on the things that are going on in between the craziness. I'll be honest, from beginning to halfway in the book, maybe even three quarters of the way, I was kind of uncertain about it. And I was very unsure. I didn't know where it was going. And that uncertainty kind of made me question the majority of the book. But once you get to the end, things start clicking in place and things start coming together. The puzzle pieces start fitting and the ending kind of um, makes up for the majority of the book. I'm not going to say that the majority of the book was not good. It was, it was fine. It was good. It was crazy. Um, but the ending really kind of tied up and got to the point of what this book is all about. So you definitely have to stick through and finish till the end. The dialogue was awesome. It was funny. There was great one-liners. There is a lot of profanity in here and there's a lot of slang and teenager-isms. I thought the dialogue overall was great and funny and kept the book going. The genre of the book, there had a lot of action in here. There was some romance which was really sweet. There were some fantasy elements, some sci-fi elements, 
and realism but you kind of go with the flow and you just go with it it's very definitely geared toward males the boys so going bovine by Libra Bright is definitely a readable in my opinion I want to say um, everyone should read this but I don't think this will be a cup of tea for everyone there is some profanity like I said before there is some pot smoking action it definitely has mature content in here and I would probably recommend it for those maybe 14 and up. I was very pleasantly surprised and it was a very fun ride and I enjoyed reading it. And um, you just have to stick through till the very end. I'll just say that much. Going bovine, best book cover in the world. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, bye. Um, 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 um. <laughs>